have brought out serious secrets that have implications. You know, um, I made this video earlier where Bulldog exposed Shatawale's tracklist for his album. Apparently, Shatawale didn't like it. A lot of people were saying, oh, it's promotion, it's promotion for the album. They have, pl they have planned it. But the kind of secret that Shatawale has exposed from the camp of Bulldog, this cannot be a planned thing. Because this is the same thing Shatawale did in 2015 that led Bulldog to be jailed and all that. I have the full gist for you. I'm the headless YouTuber, there's headless reactions. All right, sorry. Yanka! Now, if you've not watched this video, go and watch it. The link is in the description. I don't know who started this whole thing, but um, Bulldog said something about Shatawale. Shatawale responded, Shata and Bulldog, they've been going back and forth for some time now. I don't know who started it. And that is not the focus here. Now, um, this morning, Bulldog released the track list of Shatawale's GOG album. He leaked it. And Shatawale is angry. So Shatawale has also come out to leak something from Bulldog. He, um, this is what Shatawale posted on Facebook. Bulldog, since you are bringing out secrets, you will tell Ghanaians what happened to Phoenix murder. And I am not joking about it this time. I am ready to tell the court about what you told me. Huh? What you told me about you and your man and how um, planned that foolish act. Get ready. Hmm. This Akufuado won't give you a better chance to be on our streets. Watch how um, this ends. You can't fight time. Now, Shatawali, we know you are in a hurry to release secrets, but sometimes take your time and type. Hi, <laughs> because what is this? Take your time and type. Now, this, um, this thing that Shatawali posted has triggered Kalkesi because Fennec was Kalkesi's manager. Now, Kalkesi took a screenshot of this from Shatawali and posted it on Instagram and tagged um, Ghana Police and said Ghana Police Service, please help us get justice on my manager, on my manager's murder. I believe Shatawali and Bulldog know something we need to know. Please. Um, let's delve into this. Now, in case you don't know who Fennec is, or who Fennec was, and the whole issue about Fennec, this is a quick gist. In 2014, long time ago, 2014, Caucasus manager, Fennec, Fennec Ochre, was murdered. Now, one of the suspects of the murder was Bulldog. And... Bulldog was later released because the police said they didn't have enough evidence. And this was in 2014. Fast forward 2015, when um, Boo House Entertainment dropped Shatawale, as in they said they are not managing Shatawale again. Bulldog said he is not managing Shatawale again. 20, uh, 2015. That time, Shatawale in a press conference came out to say that Bulldog threatened him. And Bulldog told him that I will kill you like I killed the other guy. And because of this thing that Shatawale said back then, it led to the case being reopened. Fennec Ochi's case was reopened by the police. And a lot of things went on to the point where Bulldog was sent to counter back and a whole lot of issues. It was nasty for Bulldog just because of that thing that Shatawale said. That Bulldog threatened him. Now later a whole lot went on, but the case um, Bulldog was later acquitted and discharged. Because apparently after they went on with the case, they found out he, he didn't do it or something. But he was acquitted and discharged. Years later. Now this is the second time that Shatawale has said something like this. Will the case be reopened because the murder has not been solved. The case has not been solved up till now. And Kalkesi is always mourning his late manager up till now. Some people even believe that it is because of um, 
um, his manager's death. That's how come his career dipped right after his manager's death because he didn't have anybody else who could step up like his manager was doing for him. I'm talking about Paul Kessie. And also his manager's death worried him psychologically and all that. So Paul Kese is now telling the Ghana police to look into this. Because this is the second time that uh, uh, Shatawali has said something like this. And this time Shatawali said he is not joking. He is willing to tell the court everything he knows. Everything that um, Sh um, Bulldog has told him about this panic case. Now the Ghana police service has put out a statement. And this is what they are saying. Police statement on Shatawali's tweet. Um, regarding the late Fennec Oche. One, the attention of the Ghana Police Service has been drawn to a tweet by Charles Niyama Mensa Jr., popularly known as Shatawale, regarding the death of artist manager Fennec Oche. Two, the police have made contact with Shatawale, who is cooperating with us on this matter. Three, the police would like to put on record that the recently established cold case unit has been working for months on all unresolved murder cases, including that of Fennec Oche, with support from the affected families. Four, the new development from Shatawale is therefore going to complement our ongoing investigation. Five, we would like to take this opportunity to thank all the families um, who have been working with the cold case unit since its establishment for their cooperation and understanding. Six, we wish to assure the public that the police will continue to work relentlessly on these cases in order to bring closure to the affected families. Now with this, those of you in Koto Nation who, who are lawyers and you have law background, can Shatawale be in, implicated or, you know, in, as in um, being an acquaintance or um, an accessory to the murder or what? What is going on? A lot of SM fans are not happy with Shatawali because of this thing he has done. Some people in Shatawali's WhatsApp group, uh, so a SM warriors, SM Twitter warriors WhatsApp group, some people in the group were telling Shatawali that this is no good. Shatawale got angry and told them to remove those people from the group. Now, at this point, it is very difficult to be a Shatawale fan. <laughs> I, because at this point, how are you going to defend this? We know tempers are high, but Shatawale should know that he has more to lose than most of the people he fights with. The brand Shatawale is very big. Shatawale should know by now that he has a lot to lose, more than anybody he fights with. Now, there are other screenshots that are flying around, talking about he um, and Bulldog was telling, Bulldog told him that he, he used to get girls for Mahama and something, but those screenshots, I don't believe because I didn't take those screenshots myself. And according to Alatiaino, he can't find a post from Shatawale. And we all know Shatawale doesn't post and delete. So I don't know. Maybe those posts are from different people, so we'll not go there. But this is what Shatawale is saying about Fennec. Let me know what you think about this. I know sometimes a, um, Shatawale's fans, yes, there's a whole lot that can be said. That Shatawale will be sitting there minding his own business and people will come and insult him. Now when he reacts, then they'll say Shatawale is the bad one. But it's not... <laughs> anyway, let me know what you think about this whole issue with Shatawale and Bulldog. So now, um, after Bulldog released Tracklist, Tracklist, you've also released this. Every secret is not secret. <laughs> mm. Let me know what you think about this. Do you think um, it was necessary for Shatawale to do this? Um, are you a, an SM fan? Are you disappointed in Shatawale? Do you support Shatawale for doing this? Is it every time that when there's an issue, Shatawale should bring out secrets? 
Because this is the same way Shatawale had an issue with Benna Boy earlier this year, January 2022. And then he started making some comments, um, allegations about Benna Boy raping some people. And so that, does that mean that Shatawale has all this dirty information? On He has it. When you have a problem with him, he will release your secret. Is that it? Is this your MCM? Is this your superstar? Whatever it is. Hmm. And no, no, no. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Watch other videos on this channel. Tell somebody about Headless. Daddy. Yeah,